In Argentopter 3.0, we have added a fence or a geofence. The purpose of the fence is just to stop the copter from flying too far away. So uh, the way that you can set it up is you can go into the configuration area, then go down to geofence and hit enable. And then you can choose which type of fence, either altitude and circle or just altitude or just circle. Normally you just want altitude and circle. Then you can uh, decide what action you want. Um, at the moment it is just report only or RTL or land. So normally you'd want RTL or land, otherwise it's not going to actually do anything when you cross the fence. Uh, and then you can select the max altitude, which is in meters, so 100 is 100 meters, and the max radius, uh, which is by default 150 meters. And this is the uh, radius from home. Uh, now to explain a little bit better how the fence works, so um, you can imagine that right in the middle we have home and we have set up the circular part of the fence uh, to be 150 meters. So the radius of this, of this sort of tin can shaped fence would be 150 meters and the maximum altitude would be 100 meters. So uh, what will happen is uh, you can fly around in any mode, you know, auto, loiter, manual, or sorry, stabilize, acro, whatever you want. If your copter, um, you know, goes outside of this 150 meter fence, then it will switch into RTL mode and it will hopefully uh, start trying to come home. Now, at any point, uh, you can uh, retake control. And to retake control, um, you would just change the flight mode on your uh, transmitter. So on this transmitter, I have it set up so that uh, bottom position is stabilize, middle is loiter, and top is, is auto. So say for example, I was flying in stabilize mode and I breached this fence, then uh, it would switch into RTL. I could then um, you know, switch into loiter by putting the switch in the middle position. Uh, but if I didn't actually, if I actually wanted to recover in stabilized mode, then what I would do is first switch to loiter for a moment, then switch it back to, back to stabilized mode. Uh, one other interesting thing about the fence is, what happens if you uh, cannot regain control? So say for example, the, the copter you know, crosses this 150 meter barrier, you try to retake control in stabilized mode, but you're unable to, the copter keeps on flying away. Uh, what will happen actually is that uh, 20 meters outside of this, so at 170 meters away from home, it will try again to switch you back into, into RTL. Uh, and it'll keep on doing that every 20 meters. So, it, and you know, once you regain control and start bringing the copter back, that's fine. You'll be able to stay in, say, for example, stabilized mode or loiter. But if you're unable to bring it back for some reason, uh, it will automatically keep on switching into RTL mode every 20 meters. Now, if, you're, if your copter keeps on getting further and further away and eventually crosses 300 meters or twice the uh, circular radius, then it will just try and land. The idea behind this is that, you know, you've had 150 meters to try and regain control, both you or, or the RTL. Uh, after 150 meters, if you're, if you're still unable to regain control, you know, something's obviously very wrong. So it just switches into land mode and, and the copter will, will come down. So next I'll uh, do a little flight test and show you how it uh, works in practice. Here's my quad in stabilized mode. I've set the fence to be just 20 meters. Off we go. Bang. It just hit it, switched to RTL, and now it's returning home. I'm gonna retake control and try again. There, hit it again. A little bit rough. I'm going to try and push it out again. Now you'll see it lets me go a little bit further. Another 20 meters before retaking control. I've retaken control in loiter mode. I'm going to try going even further. There it is, it's retaking control again. Each time. retakes control and comes home. 